Hello, welcome to Fagor CNC 8055 MC Profile Editor Lesson Number 5 Corners Radius and Chamfer. Let's take a quick look at a part example. Here we have a part. We have the 00, zero corner here, but we have a blending radius. So this corner is not going to be ideal to start in because we want to take full control of this corner and put a blending radius there. Our ideal starting spot would be here in the middle. And if you remember from lesson number two, uh, this is what we suggest to start a uh, initial point here. But then in lesson number three, we talked about how to enhance that by adding a lead on or a tangential entry and also a tangential exit. So by adding a linear line to the middle to lead onto the profile is going to be ideal for us. Let's begin. We're going to start from the main display screen of the 8055 control. Uh, I'll be using my simulator and of course you'll be using your standard front panel on your Fagor 8055 MC control with your enter recall up and down arrow keys and the F3 key for a profile. Let's start by pressing F3. Here we have profiling level 2 and this is the initial starting point for the the project. And we're going to be starting out here somewhere so we're going to be starting around X3.5 which is half of the seven inches and Y a positive of 0.5. So we'll put in 3.5 for X and Y a positive 0.5. And here's our profile number. And if I hit the down arrow key, we can see that the last profile drawn is number 16. So I'll create number 17 and then I'll press the recall key. I'll start by pressing F1 edit, F1 profile. Here's the initial point. Now the initial point again is going to be up here at X 3.5 Y positive 0.5. X 3.5, Y positive 0.5, and there's the initial point. I'll validate it. Now I'm going to draw a straight line. X will remain the same. Y will then move to zero, and the angle will be minus 90 degrees is the traveling direction of this line. I'll validate it. Now we're ready to begin the programming of the profile. So we're here. Now we want to go to X7, Y0. So we're going to choose another straight line. X7, Y0. And we'll validate that. Next we're going to do another straight line. And the straight line is going to go to Y minus 4 inches. So X remains the same, Y minus 4 inches, and again traveling at a minus 90 degree angle. Another straight line. And this time we're going to return back to X0, Y minus 4. So X is going to go to 0, Y remains the same and we're going to travel at a 180 degree angle on the line. Validate. Another straight line. X will remain the same, but Y will return to zero. And we'll be traveling at a 90 degree angle. Validate. Another straight line. X will return to 3.5 the center, Y remains the same, 
we're going to be traveling at a zero degree angle. Validate. And then we need to do uh, the exit line coming off. So we're going to do another straight line. X remains the same, but Y is going to return to positive 0.5. And we're going to be traveling at a 90 degree angle. And we're going to validate that. Now, if you remember from exercise or lesson number three, we were able to come back later after we created the linear lead on and change that to a tangential. So by pressing the escape key twice on your keyboard, we can get to the modify feature. Go to modify, corners, and we can modify the tangential entry. So here it's already decided this is the entry point. And let's put a radius of 0.125. Done. Now we're going to do the exit. We have to travel around the part in a clockwise direction. So we get to the end point, and we'll also put a 0.125 radius. Okay, so the tangential entry and exit have already been completed. Now we can now apply corner blending radiuses. So let's look at our blueprint, and we can see that here we have a quarter inch, a one inch, and a three quarter inch radius. Let's perform those now. So I choose F1 rounding. Then I keep choosing the next element until I get to the corner. This is the, where the quarter inch is going to reside. I change that to a quarter inch. This is completed. The next one was a one inch. And the next one, this one receives a champ, so I'll have to skip it. And this one was 0.75. Okay. Now we'll press the escape key one time. And now we'll choose chamfer. And I'm going to go to previous. And I get to this corner. And our chamfer size is a half an inch. So we'll put in 0.5. Okay. This project is now completed in the profile editor. So now we press the escape key, press save and continue, press the escape key two more times until we get the finish key. Now we press F5 and now we get to name this and we'll name this corner radius and And we'll press enter. Okay, we'll look in the library by pressing the down arrow key. And here's our project. Press enter to select it. Here we've already set up the Z start, Z cut begin, the depth, the depth of cut. Okay, and over here we have left side cutter comp. Okay, now let's press the graphics key and do a simulation of this project. Go to the screen, press cycle start, display, optimize, there's our completed project. This completes lesson number five.